Hi everyone, it's Gareth from Big Game Bikes. This is a very short instructional video to show you how to connect the Big Game Bikes hydraulic brakes that are not pre-assembled, the DIY brakes. I'm going to show you how to do one of the levers. The process is identical for both. It's an easy process. If you have not done this before, or if you are unsure, or if you have any reservations, do not do this. Take your bike to a bike shop. Okay? Perfect. Let's carry on. So, as you can see here, we've got our brake lever, and we've got our brake hose, and there's a tiny Phillips head screw in there. don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's also a tiny washer on there. This contains hydraulic fluid and this contains hydraulic fluid. Now if we get this right, no fluid should leak from here and no fluid should leak from here. The kit comes with a cover, it comes with a bolt and it comes with a copper seal ring. Okay, so to begin with we take our cover and we very carefully push this onto the housing. I say carefully because, as you can see, I've just pulled that rubber seal out of there. We need to make sure that that doesn't happen. The next thing we want to do is we want to take our locking bolt and again, very carefully push that on, make sure the thread is facing upwards, okay? And make sure our little washer hasn't gone for a walk. Finally, we very, very carefully put on our copper seal. So cover, bolt, copper seal. Okay. Let's just secure that so the pipe is facing up. That's going to stop hydraulic fluid leaking out. I've tilted my bike so that this is facing up. That should also help prevent hydraulic fluid from coming out. Number 12 spanner goes on this black bit. Number eight spanner undoes this. We need to make sure that we do not undo this. So holding the two together, twist in the opposite direction, like that. Okay. Now, we very, very gently, very carefully pull this out. As we're pulling that out, we're just gonna get a towel down in case any hydraulic fluid does leak out. Take your time, do this slowly. Okay, stopper is out. I can see and I can smell the hydraulic fluid in there. Now we very carefully take this. You'll need to undo this with a Phillips screwdriver. Make sure you keep it upright at all times. And now what we're going to do is we're very quickly going to insert it into that in one swift motion. Okay. And you push it all the way in and you will feel it click. All right. Don't be shy with this. Give it a good push. Next goes our copper flange, and into that goes our locking nut, and we give this a turn. Now, no brake fluid, well, only the tiniest amount of fluid has ended up on my hands. If this gets onto your bike, it can damage your paintwork. If it gets onto your rotors, it'll contaminate your rotors. That is a problem. Make sure you contain the hydraulic fluid, okay? Now, with our number eight, we get on there and we tighten this. How tight do we do that? Really tight. 
not so tight that you wreck it, but you'll feel all of a sudden it'll hit and that's it. Cool, I'm happy with that. Now what we can do is we can give the brake lever a little bit of a squeeze. Okay. And that's it. It's done. I'm happy that that's sealed. There's no fluid leaking out. Perfect. Everything we've just done on that, we do on the other side.